Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates out in a suburb of Baltimore, which is a city, of course, famous for two things, crime and crabs. Here today with Lewis Lane, who is most famously related to Lois Lane. Most people know her as the woman who has sex with Superman. What are we going to be doing today, Lewis? Uh, knife defense. Knife defenses. Tell me a little bit about your background. I am an instructor in Nimpo, or as you know, ninjutsu. Been studying martial arts for 25 years, since I was six years old. Uh, taekwondo, jujitsu, ninjutsu, Krav Maga. And what do you have more experience with, crime or crabs? <laughs> Definitely crabs. It's not the answer I was expecting. <laughs> all right, so Lewis is gonna demonstrate a technique for us all. And then I will be showing you the difference between bullshit and a shinobi. That's a ninja joke. Uh, shinobi is a word for ninja. Some of you are nodding that you know that, and other people don't. Hi, my name is Luis Martinez. This is Christopher Sundin, uh, also known as the Penguin. Uh, we're from Ninja Abingdon Martial Arts. And we're gonna teach you guys today uh, proper knife defense. So the first thing we're gonna do, the attacker is gonna come in and thrust. I'm gonna step offline here, okay? Grab his hand and then twist it in that direction there. Bring my knee over and hyperextend that elbow and disarm and step away. So going quickly. All right, my number one problem with Lewis and Clark's bullshit is that it's going to get you killed in a street fight because none of it would ever work. You're not going to be able to actually grab a knife when the hand is moving that quickly. So, you have your knife with you? I do. Okay. Hey, when Penguin goes ahead and stabs at me, most likely I'm going to get cut if I'm trying to catch it with my open hand. The hand's gonna be moving much too fast. I'm gonna be nervous. I'm gonna have my adrenaline going. So, what I recommend instead in this situation is a technique that we call GSBS, which means get stabbed, but safely, okay? <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do is actually try to control where I get stabbed. I'm gonna open up my hand very wide so he has a nice big target, and as he stabs, stabs through my hand, okay? It's not gonna kill you. It's gonna hurt a lot. It's not gonna kill you, okay? And now I have control of the weapon, okay? Now I don't have to worry about where it's gonna stab me because I've already been stabbed. Okay? Now, the problem with that is that it may affect some of the tendons and some of the strength in my end to control the weapon. So I'm going to stab myself <laughs> the second time here, okay, getting stabbed. Now I have control, two hands on one, okay? I can reach up, I can slice the throat, I can stab him in the solar plexus, I can slice his groin, come down here, slice the back of the Achilles, okay, dropping him down. And continuing down, okay? <laughs> then pulling the knife away, okay? I'm gonna have to pull it off my hand. All right? Might not be able to hold it very well at that point. But the best part about that is you now have wounds that are consistent with defensive wounds, okay? So they don't know the part about you taking and stabbing and cut. So you can just say, this guy cut himself seven times and then stab me in the hands. <laughs> then I was always restomp that groin. <laughs> All right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I want to thank Lewis for showing us some of his ninpo poser bullshit. Uh, if you want to find out more about your school, they can do something online, I assume? NinjaAbingdon.com. All right, short and sweet. I'm Master Ken. Make sure to tune in next time for another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Us. Very good. All right. <laughs>
Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restop that groin.